everybody, it's Jennifer from Weborn's Nursery. I wanted to come here and get you guys oriented again with my nursery a little bit. Um, Kyler is in the small white crib now. I kind of mix them around a little bit and change them up a little bit so that it makes things more fun and interesting. Um, my little sloth light is my memorial light for my friend. Um, her daughter that passed away last August and that's always kind of especially if it's in the evening and We need light in the nursery and stuff. I try to keep that on and kind of just as a memory and also just as um, a reminder of what a sweet person a sweet spirit she had and I want to take that with me every day um, in the small crib we now have little Jade and she is dressed so cute, still in her one little piece uh, outfit with her little elephant and her white hair bow. And I still haven't taken the little um, toy, the chime rattle, out of its package, but that is from Tracy's Baby World when she sent me my um, reborn shower in a box. Um, so that is there. And then as I go around the room, now I've got little Brooklyn in the little, the little top seat with some little bears around her and some Ann Gettys. Little babies dressed up as animals and then the little cute one dressed up as a daisy or a sunflower. I never know which one is, which one it is. Um, Ellie has taken a little snooze on the baby couch and she's got her, of course, she's got her unicorn with her. She's still in her little cute summer dress. And she's got a little pink rosette uh, bow on her head. And she's just kind of hanging out there. Um, now I put the small high chair in the corner. And I've got my little book that I read last week. Um, and it is titled, Wherever You Are, My Love Will Find You. That's kind of just a really good reminder um, for me every day to tell the people that I love, um, that I care about them, and to just communicate with them and talk with them and just make them feel special. As I go around now in my little tin... Um, I don't know what kind of bucket it's like one of those big larger round buckets um, but I've got um, little Riley is sleeping in here now and he's still got his little blue onesie on with the puppy dog on the front of it and he's sleeping with a little stuffed doggy too so I thought he just looked really really cute um, with the gray and white striped blanket and then to his right, my left, is little Mr. Ethan, still looking so gorgeous and cute in his all gray onesie and his gray hat, and he's snuggling up with his blue bunny. Still got his little socks on, and he is on, you guys, this, I don't know if I showed this to you yet. If I did, I'm sorry, but I'm still amazed by this thing. I was at Walmart. Was it Walmart? Yes. Um, I was at Walmart and I was just kind of looking for some things for treats for my dog for Zoe and I happened to turn around and they had little dog beds and I'm like this, this one right here caught my eye this is actually a dog bed and it caught my eye because it kind of looks like one of those really soft blankets um, I have a pink one that the girls that the girls use um, but it looks like one of those really soft blankets and I thought oh that's really pretty and that would look good with pictures and you know posing them and all that kind of stuff so but the weird thing is let me get Ethan off of here real quick and show you something oh come here buddy see I still have the tag on it because I didn't know if I would take it back but it says it's a small pet bed Okay, so here's the thing, you guys. Let me get down lower. Okay, so see the bottom of it? The bottom is like a rounded, a rounded area. 
So it looks normal up here, but let me flip it. So look at how that's rounded on the bottom. Now I can't figure out how a dog would use this if it were, you know, because it kind of wobbles around. Like if they'd go to get in it or if Zoe would go to get in it, this would kind of tip over. I guess eventually if she evened out her weight, it might stay steady. But even putting the babies in there, you know, I have to finagle it around a little bit. Then I thought, oh, maybe I have it upside down. Maybe the, maybe this part is supposed to go down in there. And so I tried that. This is kind of hard. Hold on one second. So I pushed that center down and it still looks the same on the bottom. It still has that rounded area. If any of you know what or why it would be like that, please comment down below because I could not figure it out. I'm like, I can't imagine that they'd be able to sell this or somebody would return it because it's just so wobbly. But anyway, it has worked really well as a little posing chair or a little chair for the babies. But again, like I said, I have to kind of finagle with it a little bit. And, but I mean, they look really, really cute in it and stuff. And Ethan, he's looking so cute. Oh, sorry, my arm's in the way and everything. But anyway, so there's that little guy. And it is still wobbly. I have to kind of balance it out. But anyway, if you know or can figure that one out, let me know about it. But it's working pretty good for here. Next in the big high chair, I got this at a garage sale, but um, Caleb is still in his costume. I think I am gonna try to change him into a different outfit after I give you this quick tour. Um, but he's still sitting there in his costume. He's got a couple bears around him. And then, oh, I forgot to turn on my aquarium. This little Discovery Kids aquarium, my youngest son, had when he was little in his room and I just absolutely loved it. It was in the giveaway pile and I'm like, no, I'm going to keep that. I was getting close to the time I was going to do my nursery and I thought, oh, that'll look really cute in there. So I kept that. And so, yes, everything mostly, I've added a few things up there, but that looks mostly the same, the hats and then the blankets. A little trash can. Matthew might be the only one that has been in this big cradle for a while in the same spot. But Riley was in here a while with him. So now he's been kind of on his own solo for a little while. So he looks really cute in there with the Lammy pillow. And I've got another Ann Gettys baby dressed as a white bunny. And then Matthew's little brown bear, put that more up by him, is right there. And then, you guys, I'm over here on all my little miniature collectibles. And I've got my bottles in the back. I've got a few more pacifiers back there that I need to magnetize. I actually I need to magnetize all those. Um, and then underneath, I've got some more... Um, puppies in my pocket that I need to open and I got a different little surprise thing to open too and that's where I keep my um, boppy pillow so right now that's kind of what it's looking like kind of mix the kids around a little bit I'm gonna go ahead and get little Caleb and we're gonna change him into a different outfit all right here we are back and he just looks so cute in this little panda bear costume that I almost hate to take it off. Um, look at those little paws on there, a little bow, everything. Now, this is my um, Sue Lin that is from Paradise Galleries. And I think it actually came as a girl. It's got little pink bows on the ears. Um, and I did call her, I was uh, I kept her as a girl when I first got her, um, and 
named her Kylie. I'm sorry, Kelsey. I was thinking of Kylie, but I named her Kelsey. And then it wasn't that long ago that I changed her to a boy, and now um, her name or his name is Caleb. So I get confused sometimes because it's still kind of new, but um, I just wanted to let you guys know that if you were ever looking on Paradise Galleries um, for this particular doll, um, it is the Su Lin uh, sculpt by Peng Peng Lao. Ping Lao. I think I'm saying that right. I think Ping Lao. But um, he's very, very cute. And he's got, um, instead of the doe suede or the tan color body, uh, he has kind of a whitish or cream color body with little panda bears um, on it, on his cloth body. So it's a little different than most of the reborns that you see. But I am going to put on him this new little outfit I got. And um, it is a three months. So it might be a little bit big. It's got little shorts underneath. It's got a little um, construction digger on it. And the pants, I think, have, yeah, some different little construction vehicles on it. Very cute. But um, I know it might be a little bit big, but we're going to go ahead and put it on him for something else. And since I just got it recently, um, uh, it's a just, just one U Carters. So I've been getting into some of their stuff lately. And I think they carry these at uh, Target, I think this brand. So, okay see how this is going to look on him. I've been wanting to, I got a couple, the other little outfit I think that I showed you guys that I got from H&M um, is kind of for colder weather because it's a kind of a fleece two-piece set. It's got a pair of pants. It's kind of like a cream color or off-white and um, so that's kind of more for fall or winter. So I wanted to at least put one of the new outfits on. So this is going to look really cute. Yeah, I am sorry I haven't been on in probably, I know I did not make any videos over the weekend. Um, it just it got really busy and I've been having a couple family issues that I was working with. And, and just uh, my mom's birthday was in there and... You know just a lot of different things so um, I apologize I didn't keep up over the weekend and stuff but I'm always trying to think of new ideas when I come back uh, to do on the channel and to make it fun so stick in there with me I hope you don't give up on me if I have little short abs absences like that oh this fits actually really good I mean it's not bad at all Wow. See, sometimes it does pay to get a little bit bigger size because you don't want to fit it exactly, exactly. But here's the little pants. Those are cute. Yeah. And then pull down the, the top here. And this looks really, really cute. Aw. There he is. That's really cute. I like this outfit a lot. When my sons were younger, they loved construction vehicles. Um, you know, of course, so we had all the little collector matchbox cars and Hot Wheels cars and all that kind of good stuff. And then we got the out, you know, the bigger size um, dump trucks and stuff that they could play with out in their um, sandbox and just play with outside. And this, so this brings up really, really good memories um, of the boys when they were little, especially since this uh, doll reminds me of my younger son. He, he kind of looks, had a round face like that and cute little ears and just a little smirk like that. He just kind of resembles my son. So 
very, very cute. It looks so cute in that outfit. So, but yeah, it brings back some good memories. And I'm missing those days a little bit um, every once in a while. So, um, yeah, so there's the little guy. That looks really cute. So, I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, I look forward to getting some more videos up. And this week is um, going to be 4th of July. So, I hope you all have a wonderful celebration with family and friends. Be thankful for what we have and thankful for each other. So, I am going to go ahead and stop now, but I'm going to... Hopefully see you really soon. I'm going to try to get some more videos up this week. And we will talk to you really soon. Thanks for coming over. Bye-bye.